Hello everybody, Swami here. Today we are going to see vendor returns in SAP MM S4 model. So the process I'm going to do is I'm going to create a purchase order, give order confirmation, and then I'm going to do goods reserve. Then inward, I'm going to do inward. That is goods reserve is inward. And then I'm going to do vendor invoice, invoice verification. And then I'm going to return the material to the vendor and I'm going to do credit memo. What do you mean by credit memo? They have to give us back, back our money. They have to give us back our money because we have paid them the money and it's, they, it's their turn to return us back the money. So let's go to the live system. I'm going to show you in the live system. Let's create a purchase order now, ME21N. Enter the vendor. Seven triple zero seven double five is my vendor. Okay. Enter purchase organization double one double one. Purchasing group triple zero. Enter the material double five one zero is my vendor material. Quantity ten kgs or hundred and thousand ten hundred rupees. I'm going to buy it. This is order confirmation. Purchase order confirmation. Enter the plan. Enter storage location and save it. And save it. Now come back. This is my PO number 4001833. This is my purchase order. So now I'm going to do goods reserve MI GO. So enter here. I'm going to select goods reserve. Purchase order and then I'm going to enter my purchase order number. 45001833. Item OK. Post it. Now I'm going to do invoice verification. MIRO. MIRO. Enter date. 20th. Document date. Select A1 is my input tax. Enter my purchase order number. 34. 4500 is my purchase order number. Item OK. Calculate tax. Baseline date. Sorry. Here we have to select invoice. So now calculate one one two seven six zero. So now simulate and post. Simulate and post. So I've done invoice verification. So now I'm going to return back the material stock to the vendor. MI zero. Okay. Select returns delivery. So this is the number which has been adapted from the previous uh, uh, goods reserve. Press enter. So go here. Reasons for moment. Select reasons for moment from the where tab. Poor quality. Poor quality. I'm going to send all the 10 kgs to the vendor. Post. Item not flagged. Item OK post. So now I have posted it. I have returned the material to the vendor. Now I'm going to create credit memo. Credit memo. Credit note or credit memo. Select credit no credit memo here. Enter the invoice date. Enter purchase order number. This is my purchase order number. Select the tax here, A1 is my tax. So now come this side also. Tax code, change the tax code, A1. So vendor has to return us back the money. Enter the baseline date. Go here, basic data. Now calculate tax. So this is the amount. 12,760 is the amount. He has to return us back the amount. 12,760. 
post simulate and post simulate and post so now let's check the purchase order history me 23n so this is my purchase order go to purchase order history see here i have done goods receipt standard goods receipt inward goods inward and then i have put a invoice verification this is my invoice verification now i have returned the uh, stock to the vendor and then i have put a credit card this is my purchase order history thank you